what's up guys it's your boy PG and I'm coming at you with another entertaining video today I'm here to let you guys know we're in revelations you guys we're in the end times now let's get right to the point I have some evidence here and I want you guys just to take this in for yourself all right your government as of right now are lying to you about how you're getting this disease and they are teaching you to hate each other at a scale that is going to kill us all please you guys listen to what I'm going to tell you and what I'm going to show you and if I'm wrong in some eyes of people just let me know I'm wrong but don't hate me just disagree with me all right so First and foremost, the virus. Everyone's around here panicking, thinking that they're going to get this virus through touch and smell. You guys already have the virus in you. It's in the meat. And I've found a few photo, a few um, clips so I could put it in perspective for you guys to show you guys exactly how they told you how you're getting the virus but they are misleading you through social media with all this contact and social distancing and all this crap when that's what's not activating the actual virus inside of you that's been inside of you all this time all right so this is the first clip i'm going to show you right here bear with me guys this email we got was from the united states department of agriculture and they were plowing up crops across the nation dumping milk chickens Destroying and hogs crops. and i believed this email was to prepare us for that possibility with cattle why is it such a big deal where people are given a pushback of where the meat is coming from as a consumer you don't know what you're buying it oppresses our prices because there's no competition for it why should the consumer care we are importing beef and we are destroying our harvests at a time when people don't have jobs is it similar to what walmart did to a lot of mom and pop shops and put them out of business it's the same thing who's the amazon of your world i'm not sure there is an amazon of our world maybe there's an idea right there we don't want the government getting in on our beef industry. Sonny Perdue, he's a globalist. Two of our four main beef packers are Brazilian owned and they've been caught Brazilian. in these fraudulent Remember cases that. in their own countries. Brazilian. What do you think they're doing in the United States? Tyson Food, Cargill, JBS, National Beef, those are the four you're talking about. There will be a takeover of our industry and then a lot of these producers will become serfs to the oligarchy and I think that's where we're headed. We have to be able to feed the world at a profit. We can't do it at a loss. Who fills my shoes now in this time and age? Nobody, exactly. only multinational corporations. You can't tell me work hard. I come from a family, we all work hard. There are smart people in this industry. They're innovative. That's why we have the best product in the world. Could you easily sell others to consider getting into your industry today? Unless you marry it or inherit it, you ain't gonna have it. You it's financially it. impossible. And see, that's why he's mad, because the corona is affecting his meat business and he's losing money. So this is how it falls into the big picture and scheme of things. Remember, he said that we are getting meat from Brazil, right? Two meat factories in Brazil. I'm about to blow you guys' brains right now. How about if I told you that the coronavirus started from Brazil, not China? We're going to get into that misdirect hate in a second, but it started in Brazil with herbivores. You guys, last year there was a pandemic exercise that went on and they knew about the coronavirus and when it was going to happen. They knew about this from back when President Obama was in presidency and he made an announcement about it. All right. So check this out, you guys. Check out this clip right here. And this is a pre-recording in that healthy I looking pigs. Pigs. Months, perhaps years ago, a new coronavirus spread silently within herds. Wait a minute. I thought the coronavirus came from bats in China. Yeah, I thought and, that too. And that other stuff. Old PG. Okay, I thought let's that continue. too. Gradually, farmers started getting sick. Infected people Farmers. got a respiratory illness with symptoms ranging from mild flu-like signs to severe pneumonia. The sickest required intensive care. Many died. Oh, 
experts agree unless it is quickly controlled, it could lead to a severe pandemic, an outbreak that circles the globe. Oh, you guys, where did this pandemic start from? Where is this country? Where is this country at? This country doesn't look like China to me. It doesn't look like China at all. I need all of you sheep to wake up. I need you to wake up because you're being misdirected so you can hate another country for something that they didn't even do. Okay? This is the honest truth. At the end of the day, you're hating a country, a group of individuals who are probably innocent over there. There's innocent people over there, but you hate them because social media told you that told you to do it basically basically social media told you to hate right now in this country hate is the most powerful thing that the devil has in this country when we have to abide by the law of the land i want you guys to understand this you guys are not gonna ascend when you die because you secretly inhabit that hate that hate for another person of another skin color or because of another man told you something that influenced your hate and that's the honest truth right now in america we have another situation god rest your soul george floyd but in my heart of hearts i knew this was planned they needed something to take the attention away from the coronavirus and from President Trump being a dumbass each and every day. Now they got white people versus black people at its maximum during a pandemic. I need you guys to let this shit go. All right. The key words right there. Let this shit go. All right. It's not worth it. We're going to destroy each other. You guys are out there burning down targets, burning down other establishments that innocent, hardworking people who are able to keep their job, trying to maintain their peace of mind, their self-happiness. And you're just taking it away from them because you want to be all riled up with the hate. I'm mad. Yeah, black lives matter. Yeah, white lives matter. All lives matter. Get over it. I know some people are still stuck on that past about slavery and all this stuff. Listen to me. Listen to me. Good. Everyone in this world has went through something at one point in time. Let that shit go so we could grow together. This planet will be destroyed if we don't decide to come together as one. Not just the planet as a country. As long as we have Democrats and Republicans is going to inspire one thing, hate and disagreement. Think about that, you guys. Think about that. You could go to church. You could go out there. You could give money to a bum. You could help the next lady down the street. But at the end of the day, you secretly inhabit hate for the other people that it goes against, which you go against, which you're about. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. You're mad at the other people for what they go about that you don't, okay? I put it in those terms. You can't be mad at those people. You can't hate them. And you can't hate other people because of our skin color. The universe is growing, expanding around us. There's other life forms out there that look at us and laugh. Because we're stuck on this floating rock, still arguing about, oh, you're white, you're black. Yeah, let's go to war. Dumb monkeys, bro. Like, we're all monkeys on this damn planet, running around here, killing each other because you have a different skin color or you talk differently. You guys are pathetic, man. And then you got the other rich celebrities and the other armies and rich people escaping to space when we're down here fighting like little retards. Yeah, they're escaping the space. You see all these SpaceX um, rockets launching each and every day, every other day, carrying up astronauts, you know, 
You guys need to stop being sheep and stop sleeping while you are walking on this earth. But anyways, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I hope this was able to help somebody that was thinking about the situation. If not, oh well. People are going to probably hate this. I'm going to probably get dislikes. This is just me seeing the world from my perspective, bro. Like, that's all it is. All right? I love you guys. I hope this video did not upset anybody's day. That's not what I set out to do. I just like to put stuff out there that God puts in my spirit. That's it. So I love you guys. I encourage you guys to be a better version of yourselves each and every day. And I encourage you to stay aware of what's going on around you, okay? I love you guys. I'm out.